it's very regressive. Uh, so the, the people who benefit the most are the people who borrow the most and the people who borrow the most tend to go to graduate school for things like law school, dentistry. A small category of individuals who went off to college and took out really large loans that benefit most from this program. And that category of people actually, uh, if you break it down, tends to be pretty well to do. It's not clear to me that student loan borrowers who are going to, who you know, who are being targeted here in this mass forgiveness um, are really have really been harmed by the pandemic. It, it, you know, I mean, they've they haven't had to make payments on their loans during the pandemic. They've had the interest waived on their loans during the pandemic. Um, and we see data that uh, people who had student loans, you know, were, were more likely to go out and take out an auto loan or a mortgage uh, during the pandemic. Making the taxpayers responsible for that decision um, is, is not the correct policy solution. Quite a few people in any congressman's district are gonna be folks who you know, paid off their student loans or folks who delayed college in order to earn money and so that they wouldn't have to take out student loans or maybe who didn't go to college at all and, and entered into some sort of trade or, or other uh, kind of, uh, of job uh, because they couldn't afford student loans. And for those folks to see what's happening for, for other people to just have their loans paid off, and by the way, paid off by the taxpayers. Massive widespread student loan debt cancellation is fundamentally unfair. It asks them to take on somebody else's debt that they did not sign up to take on. There's a bunch of people who, like you said, didn't even go to college. Uh, there's a bunch of people who worked while they were in college. There's a bunch of people who went to a lower cost school so that they wouldn't have to borrow at all or as much. Uh, and all of those all of those people would basically be suckers. The other thing, the payment pause is, you know, yeah, to your point, I mean, it's a very regressive benefit. Uh, you know, not having to make payments or have interest accrue on a $10,000 loan is not that big of a benefit, right? The amount of interest that grows and the required payments are fairly small. But if you have $100,000 in loans, now not many people do, but it, but if you do, um, you, you have, you're getting a very large benefit. I don't believe that the one-time cancellation policy was ever meant to be a one-time cancellation policy. Once you provide this government benefit to Americans, it is so hard to claw that back that it's hard to imagine that the Biden administration would put this one-time policy out without thinking that it would sustain beyond this administration and become de facto federal policy.